Ah, it's Saturday morning, time to relax and get some gaming on. What the heck, man? My recliner handle broke. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So I purchased these Italian leather home theater recliner seating from Overstock. I think it was like 2005. Wow, 15 years now. So sometimes these plastic parts can break off easily with time. It becomes brittle. As you can see, this one works fine. But this is the one that I mainly use. And it just broke off at the um, connecting joint right here. So today I'm going to show you guys how to remove the cable, to measure it, to order it, and also how to install it. If you notice in the handle rest, there are two screws that requires a Phillips screwdriver to remove it. So let's go ahead and do that. So the bottom screw is a piece of cake to remove because there's plenty of uh, area, free space. But this upper screw, you're not going to be able to reach it with a screwdriver because it keeps on hitting the uh, chair. So you need a shorter screwdriver. Okay, once both screws are removed, make sure you keep it. Just going to pull this out. And there should be a cable attached to it somewhere. And that's the cable we want to pull out and measure the length. So I actually had to remove the headrest because that was in the way. I need a proper angle to look at the cable. So now I can lift it up. And onto his back. So there's the cable right there. As you can see right here, this is the cable that feeds into this uh, clamp. And then to a cable holder. So, so here's how to remove this clip holder. Just by tension, I'm going to press the screwdriver right here down the middle. And then we're going to slide it in. See how I press it? I'm going to pull on this side. See how that came out? It wasn't easy. But now make note of where the cable hole goes through. It's kind of hard to see from this angle. But it looks like it's directly underneath this uh, white part. So make note of it. Because we're going to put it in the same location. See this lever? We're going to put it in the same exact location when we uh, re replace it with a new part. And to remove that, I'm going to have to get that out of the slot. See how that's connected to this part in the back? Okay. That came out. Finally! I'm going to attempt to show you guys the hole is right there. Now I can finally remove the whole cable, assembly unit, if it doesn't get caught. Alright, so this is a unit that I'm going to measure and order the right length on Amazon. Assuming we're measuring the black cable part, this measures roughly 31 inches. It looks like the handle failed at this high stress level. Right there. One measurement that's going to ask for is the length. So this is about three and a half inches. And quite possibly the exposed cable length. So this is about 4.75 inches or four and three quarters. Start up your favorite browser. Go to the Amazon page and type in recliner handles. I've done some research beforehand. Make sure you select the right finish or right dimensions. Some offer smaller over diameter that's not going to fit yours. And with my research, I decided to go with the Ig Yang Universal because it's the proper dimensions, cable length 4.75 exposed and regular cable length 31 inches. Plenty of good reviews, good price. I'm just going to order one 
If it fits, I'm gonna order more so I have some on hand in case the other one breaks. Thank goodness for Amazon Prime. My cable got delivered in super fast speed in literally less than a day. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Will this exactly fit? Why, it looks exactly the same. See? It does look like exactly the same. Oops, wrong orientation right there. Yeah, everything looks pretty much the same except for the uh, material type right here. But, see, almost like a duplicate. Okay, so which is new, which is the old? That's the broken one. I actually had to disassemble it because I noticed when I pressed the button, there was no tension. Look at this. This is free to move. If you compare it to the old one, you see how how there's a tension spring connected to it. They did not connect this. How am I supposed to know that? I'm not a furniture expert. Sheesh. So here's how we would insert this piece. Make sure it's uh, got high tension. Insert the drum into the cylinder right here. Line up. Okay, we're in business. I just have to tighten the tension down below. So I hope you guys saved the screws from the old model because the new one doesn't come with it. So what I'm gonna do is insert the cable back in here. You don't wanna tighten it down because I made a mistake um, because I wasn't able to reach into the cable. So we're gonna to try to get it so it falls into this area underneath, not into here because I can't reach into here. Okay. Try to lead it down. Now I'm gonna flip the chair over. There was no way I was going to be able to reach in there guys, so I decided to tie a USB, long enough USB cable, that way I would have greater reach, so hopefully this will work. And surely enough, you guys see the USB? I'm going to go in, I'm able to reach in there and reach out. Ooh wee! I'm glad that engineering degree paid off. <laughs> now I can tighten the screws to prevent the handle from moving. It's actually easier to insert this into the hole first before putting in a tension clip because you are not going to have enough cable length. To okay, I got that into the farthest lowest ring. Now I'm going to insert the tension clip in here. Just let it snap into place and we're good to go okay guys moment of truth here we go and we're back in business <laughs>